Hey y'all, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here. I have another scroll saw project for you guys today. It is a Steve Good design that celebrates the true meaning of Christmas. I got this pattern for free off of his website and I'm not going to show it to you guys. I want you guys to see it as it's built up throughout the project video, but relatively simple. Only three small pieces to cut out. I have some scrap wood here. I think I can get this whole project out of it, but let me move the camera closer to the workbench and we'll get started. Again, this is a Steve Good design available as a free pattern download over on his website. I'll drop a link in the description below to his website. Here we're just trimming out the pattern and getting it ready to attach to the wood with some basic clear packaging tape. I prefer clear packaging tape over spray adhesive a lot of times just for easier cleanup purposes. You just peel it right off and keep on with your project. Over here at the drill press we are drilling our pilot holes for the interior cuts of the scroll work. And we're going to begin scrolling. This piece here is a piece of cedar and cedar cuts extremely well on a scroll saw. As with all scroll saw projects you want to do your interior cuts first and then proceed to that final cut that will release the piece from the wood. For those wondering um, about the tape that I have wrapped around the ends of my fingers on my right hand. That is just for grip. It's something that I prefer to do, especially when you have some interior cuts. It just helps me for grip when um, loosening and tightening the knob that holds the blade in place. And this is just a piece of half inch Baltic birch plywood. Baltic birch plywood also cuts extremely well on the scroll saw. And we are almost done with all of our scroll work. And then we're going to move on to making the base. And here I am marking on a piece of scrap three quarter inch pine. Um, the pattern called for a oval base, but for me, for what I wanted to do with this project, I preferred having the um, rectangle base, and that's what we're doing over here at the scroll saw, is just cutting out that rectangle. And now over here at the router table, we are adding a Roman OG profile to the four edges of the base. I always start with end grain and then move to the face grain. And I edited out sanding on this. Um, that was fairly straightforward and moved right into um, the glue up, which these spring clamps are more than enough for this project. Um, I let this dry about an hour, then I come back, took the clamps off, and finally glued the cross to the base and then let that dry for an hour or so and then it was ready for the spray lacquer and I added I think two or three coats to this and I hung it up right there in the door frame and let the sun hit it and dry it off the finished project the crucifixion of Jesus Christ I think it turned out real good the spray lacquer is now dry and it's ready to be displayed somewhere probably put it in the living room where the Christmas tree is and this is my Christmas project for 2018 I hope you guys really like it relatively simple to make again this is a Steve Good design that I slightly modified when I was cutting it out Another look at it. I think it turned out real good. 
I hope all you guys have a happy and safe Merry Christmas 2018. And remember, as we go about the busy and hectic time that is December and going back and forth to all the places, remember this. The greatest gift was not placed up under a tree. He was hung from a tree. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Merry Christmas. See you guys real soon.